you know, for our group, that's just a fabulous win. Uh, they are really a hard system to play against. Um, that motion offense they run and they grind you up. And then you can't run any offense because they just get out and pass in lanes and physically guard you and um, it wears on you. But um, great win for us. Obviously, I, I, I'm so proud of Juwan Durham um, for him to come in and, and do that. He deserves it. And in the midst of it, as I'm watching it, I'm going, you know, we're up double digits, and then here they come making a run, and I'm thinking, God, don't spoil this kid's coming out party, you know, with us getting beat tonight. Uh, but he was fabulous, and uh, hopefully we can build on that. What's allowed? Him, what allowed him to do what he did tonight, especially yeah. when he got the DNP a couple of games yeah, ago? Yeah, yeah. Um, well, opportunity, you know, it, it, it was, I think it was, uh, maybe a good style for him to play against. There was a big guy, you know, he could, he could, you know, there was a center to guard and he could kind of lay back in the hole and, um, and he changes stuff. I mean, he does. And uh, I thought it was interesting to watch it develop before our very eyes where our team got so confident in him, they're throwing it to him in the post. And that's new. That's how new we are. And it was like, that's unbelievable. And then he's making big free throws and, you know, you just never know when a light bulb is kind of going to go on, and I think maybe we got one going here. How much has he stuck to the defend and rebound, yeah. and, and especially block shots? Yeah, I mean, you know, that's he's been great with that. You know, he's understood, like, you know, re rebound, defend, block shots back there. He changes stuff. He's hard to play against in practice. Uh, Coach Ryan Humphrey's done a fabulous job with him, mentoring him. We've done more with him. Since his DNP, we've done more with individual workouts with him during the day before practice. More of an investment. The game being more important to you daily. And Ryan's been really good with him. It may be just for 30 minutes between classes. And I think that's helped focus and preparation. And, you know, this is more business-like for him. And it's also new for him. A month ago, I said to him, you know, you have a healthy body and a healthy mind. You really have a chance to get better now. You know, he's just missed so much. So I'm, I'm just thrilled for him. I'm really thrilled for him. How important is it in games like this that are close down the stretch to come out on the winning side? And how do well, you build on Yeah, that? I mean, you know, we play great defense there. We got nine straight stops to get that thing to double digits. And then here they come. And, you know, you got to defend that shot at the end. And when it's in the air, I'm thinking to myself, you know, if that goes in and we lose, you know, that's I, I got a lot of psyches to deal with because we really played hard and we were we've been grinding and playing against a hard style of play and um, so you know to escape we will take it. <laughs> Mike, what's the status on Carmody? You know, it it the same thing that happened in I don't know if that was an exhibition game. Exhibition, was that an exhibition game. It's, it's not. It did not pop out of the joint. It's kind of a pinched nerve kind of thing. So that's good news. Um, he was available in the second half, but when I looked at him at halftime, he was cringing. So I just decided not to go back to him. I think he'll be ready to practice on Thursday. Tomorrow's our off day. That performance from DJ, especially in the second half, is that kind of what you're hoping well, exactly? Well, he was, kind of yeah, he was yeah. due. DJ was due, and and I think what he did was. He, he, he did a better job of letting the game come to him. He forced some stuff in, in our two previous games and, and just had himself tied up in knots. So I, I'm, certainly I'm thrilled for Jerron. I'm thrilled for him, too, because he needed a night like this. And when he gets flowing, especially in the second half, he's one gifted offensive guy. You guys have had contributions you know, a couple nights ago, whether it was Rex, obviously the freshman, um, tonight is Juwan and DJ. Just how much confidence does that give kind of the whole group as they yeah, head to New yeah. York? I mean, we are, um, we're building this thing and, and we're trying to figure out more about them. I mean, I learned about, I'm learning about them during the game. This is new for me. I, I'm never, I, I, you know, Juwan Durham is into his thing and I'm like, this is unbelievable. I'm excited about it, but yet I'm trying to concentrate on, well, you know, we got to win the game. And, 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 you know, uh, I thought Dane Goodwin gave us solid minutes again. Prentice Hub showed toughness. So we're, we're, we've learned a lot through this seven-game home stretch. And, you know, now we take this thing on the road, uh, you know, uh, next Tuesday. I was going to say, how much are you 
think you're going to learn about your team in this next stretch of? Well, you know, starting really with DePaul, you you know, you go Big East, Big Ten, you know, Big Twelve, Pac Twelve, Big Ten. I mean, we're I'm glad we got these two at home. Um, and then, of course, today I thought to myself, nothing like taking your young guys to Madison Square Garden for, you know, the bright lights of the first stage. But what the heck, we're gonna we're going for it and. Let's go play next Tuesday. How difficult is it for the, maybe just a common fan to understand how much of a blank slate Juwan Durham was when he got here? Yeah, and to, to, to yeah, that's a great point, Tom. I mean, you had uh, a, you know the body was broken, um, hadn't really played much, there wasn't much confidence um, for a year. You know, it was great to just get his body in shape, get him strong. Tony's done a good job. There's. I know people won't believe it. There's 20 pounds on him. He was 20 pounds lighter, if you believe, you know, and he's never going to carry a whole lot of weight. Um, but then his frame of mind is good. You know, he's not gotten less than a B academically here. I I've just been so proud of how he's engaged Notre Dame. Um, he didn't play much in high school because of the knees. So you just, tonight was like, if ever a kid deserved it, it was him. And I'm so glad we won. So he can, you know, celebrate a win and having an unbelievable impact. How does he build on that now? Play him more. Coach got to play him more. I was walking out of the stadium and a woman yelled, play Juwan Durham more. And I said, you're right. You're right. I do need to play him more. So he's sixth man on Tuesday in the garden. And is she going to get a spot on the coaching staff? <laughs> I have a lot of people that give me coaching advice. You know, by the same token, you, do, you are going to get guys like Nate broke out on Saturday yeah, and it, then not, you know, nothing great today. Right. You know, it, he, he gave you some, some deep It's night to night. Yeah, no, it, it really is. It's kind of night to night, you know, and, and uh, um, it, you know, it, it's, uh, and, and it's, a, it, it's a matter of never, I don't know if I've ever sat there during a game with my staff and discussed personnel. Well, what do we think? We think in Dane here? What do we think? I mean, and as we're sitting there, and, and, and they're giving me great feedback or at timeouts, what do we think? What do we come back with that? You know, I mean, it's more than ever before do we talk about, what about this group? Do we like this group? How about, do we downshift? Do we play small, you know? And so uh, that, that's, that, that's our challenge as a staff to, you know, find that right mix at different parts in the game, you know, to, to help us. Do you, do, you, do you kind of nurse them between games too, where you're saying, "Yes, I know it's going to be up and it's going to be down." It's going to, yeah. Try, try and get them to consistency. Is that is that you? Is that the position coaches? Is that I, the I think it. I, well, I think it's all of the above. You know, there's no question. Um, it's it definitely me. I mean, it starts with me, but certainly our assistants too. And as I said, I I think one of the reasons Juwan Durham has turned the corner a little bit is the individual workouts and a little more of an investment mentally and physically on a daily basis basketball wise to make it more important and I give coach Humphrey a lot of credit with that you know because when he was a DNP in the one game and coach Humphrey said hey you got to get in man you got to show you got to you know so um, but you know I mean I we're going to have a bit of this and we just got to keep you know teaching and trying to get him confident. Now that you've gotten to know him a little bit, how would you anticipate he's going to respond to this kind of performance? Uh, you know, I think he'll be very level-headed. He's a very steady personality, but I do think it's a big confidence builder for him. You know, he has never had an impact on a college game like this tonight. He, he just never has. And, and, and so, um, and, and I'm certainly going to sell that he's arrived. <laughs>